Hey guys, it's editing Mia, aka the Mia that just filmed the last clip of this reading vlog, but you don't know that yet. It's a long one, so go grab yourself a cup of something yummy and a little snack, because this one's a long one. Good morning! Happy Monday, happy new week, new reading week, new reading vlog, all of the above. Um, I sure do sound wonderful, don't I? I don't know whether we're dealing with um, a cold or allergies or we've just been spending a lot of time outside and it's not been the warmest and it's been kind of rainy, I don't know, um, but sorry about that. Good stuff going on. I don't have a Monday morning tea segment for you because I just kind of like came in and did my thing um, and I don't have a Monday morning tea segment. I know that that's kind of like a, a I'm turning that into a thing on my reading vlogs. Um, yeah, all over the place to start this reading vlog off. We're off to a great start for this week. Currently, I'm reading, I'm very disappointed that I'm still reading this, but I'm reading it. A Murder in Time by Julia McElwain. I know I've been saying this for like the past three days, but today is gonna be the day that I finish this. Um, I'm on page 432, I should say. I've been saying it all in the last week's reading vlog, but I'm on page 432. Um, I think there's like 60 more pages to go, so I'm gonna finish it probably this morning. And then, and then I get to start Once Upon a River by Diane Sutterfield. Um, I am just, this is, this is the Cozy Bookshop Reads pick of the month for the month of March. There is <clears throat> 460 pages to this. Hopefully it won't take me like a week and a half to read it like it, A Murder in Time did. I'm very, very intrigued. I think this is folklore with magical realism, with a mystery, um, and I'm just really, really looking forward to it. I read The 13th Tale. I loved The 13th Tale. Um, I know Diane Sutterfield likes her words, like Carlos Ruiz Zafon likes his words in two totally different ways, but it's a different post coming, I guess, I don't know. Um, but I'm just really looking forward to diving into this. If by chance I finish this during the week this week, I am going to pick up, pick up Standard Deviation by Katherine Heine, Heine? Both of these are book club picks for book clubs that I'm in um, that I actually want to be a part. Well, obviously, I'm hosting the discussion on this one, and I want to be a part of the discussion on this one. Um, so I'm hopeful maybe I can get both of those read in one week. Will I? Probably. We'll find out. Um, I don't. I think it's pushing it to say I could read any more than those two books in this week. So there's really no other books we need to talk about. That is where we're starting for this week. <laughs> also, I forgot to mention that it is snowing. It doesn't look like it's currently snowing. This is like the worst time to film this. Um, much earlier was a much better like snow gusts and whiteout conditions, but it snowed yeah. and it's absolutely gorgeous yeah. here when it snows, if you ask me honestly. Um, but this is kind of it. We're not going to go for any walks or anything. I think we're just going to curl up with some movies and some books and take it easy. Good afternoon. I wanted to come on here and do a little update before I started reading because I finished, like I said, A Murder in Time by Julia McElwain, finally. Um, if I'm being completely honest, I'm giving it a two and a half stars rating but like on the lower end of a two and a half star rating the mystery was the only i feel like redeeming aspect of the entire book and it wasn't even i mean it was average it was okay um yeah it wasn't it just wasn't my favorite book i'm glad i read it like i'm glad i did it because i was really interested in it but it wasn't like the most incredible thing i've ever read it wasn't even the most average thing i've ever read it was just, it was just, um, I'm about to start this afternoon, Once Upon a River by Diane Sutterfield, and I'm trying, 
a new tea blend this afternoon that I'm really really excited about. It's one of the ones that I bought at the German tea shop that I told you guys about and wrote a blog post about and everything and I'm really really looking forward to trying it. So that's all I've got for you now. only Tuesday um I have my tea it's currently like one o'clock 1 15 in the afternoon um and I'm on my third cup if I could have four or like five today I totally would anywho I wanted to come on here and give you guys a little reading update the dust jacket is off and I'm reading once upon a river by Diane Sutterfield I started reading this yesterday and I'm already 98 pages in and I've already tabbed like a crazy person. That was not like PC at all whatsoever, but I've I've been like overworking the tabbing here. So far, I'm really, really enjoying it. I can already see the mystery and like what is like what the whole story is gonna revolve around. My only concern at this point in the story is I really hope that Diane Setterfield doesn't um, convolute the mystery with all of this other side nonsense. Um, and it may not be nonsense. I'm only 100 pages in, so I don't know. I just really hope that our mystery doesn't get convoluted with other stuff. And that we can focus on that and we're not following a whole bunch of different side tangents just a thought just a hope don't know if that's gonna happen so far I am loving it she has really taken these these hundred pages to set the scene to give us a breakdown of the area of the river of um, kind of the location the time period the people um, she's really kind of like setting the stage for what we're going to see happen um, and I'm loving it. It um, doesn't have a different feel than the 13th tale in terms of writing um, and storytelling. They both have this like incredibly dark atmospheric like gothic feel to them but they're vastly different stories I think. Um, having read the 13th tale you know and that really follows books and um you know kind of a love of writing and telling stories this is following people i would say more so than anything else um and i think it's going to be very much like a not small town because i don't really think that this is necessarily a small town story but it's going to have that kind of a vibe to it so Needless to say, I'm very, very intrigued. I'm very interested. Um, I've fallen right back into her writing. And yeah, I'm just, I'm in love so far. In love so far. Um, my goal, so this is like 460 pages or so. Um, I've got some blogging stuff to get done. So my weeks have kind of changed and the, my layout to my weeks have kind of changed. Um... In terms of like when I do stuff and when I don't do stuff, etc., etc. But my goal is to finish this book before the end of the business week. 
I don't know if that's gonna happen. I don't know how reasonable that is. It's just gonna depend on honestly how the next three days go. We are potentially doing something very exciting this weekend. I don't know if it's actually gonna happen yet or not. I'm scared to even say it because I don't know if we can, but we are potentially doing something very, very exciting this weekend. And if we do, I don't wanna take um, this like dark brooding story with me. I want something light and easy to read um, and fun to read instead of the dark brooding gothic nature of Diane Setterfield. So those are my goals. We'll see if that works. I'm like really hoping the way I have it planned out right now, I will have before the business end, like I'll have like 60 pages by Friday left. I don't know if that's actually possible or not. We'll find out, we'll see, who knows. It'll be fun to follow along, right? Um, hello, good afternoon, happy Thursday. Yes, it's a Thursday. I skipped updating you guys yesterday because I wasn't like able to make a coherent sentence about my feelings and it just turned into a really long day and I was really just heavily focused on knocking some things out and getting a lot of reading done because I'm behind my plan. So my plan was to be at page 300 and I'm at page 248 so we're not quite there but a lot has changed. I have a lot to talk to you guys about today. So I am currently reading Once Upon a River by Diane Setterfield. I am loving it. Let me tell you, Diane Setterfield writes the most atmospheric, gothic, consuming novels ever. I've only, okay, so I should clarify this. I've only read um, Once Upon a River and uh, The 13th Tale. Once Upon a River is what I'm currently reading. Okay, you guys are ever so slightly crooked, so I'm sorry about that. Um, but anyway, Diane Sutterfield writes the most atmospheric gothic stories. They are just so well um, written and the scenes are so well described um, and you really get a feel for what what the location is, what the time period and all that. So for me, everything else is like second hand but this one is seriously so just the mystery is so good my mind is boggled right now i seriously am like in my reading notes at one point i'm like what the heck is going on who is this kid and it's just so like oh so good um so my goal today is to read 150 pages because i want to try and get to page 400 um and and then all I will have left is is the 60 pages 60 odd pages we are doing something very very exciting this weekend so I don't want I don't really want to like take this book along with me I'd rather just take my kindle but um we are going on a long weekend we're going away for three nights and I cannot wait we are going to take a little like long weekend trip to Berlin um, and I'm really really excited to go I'm excited to take you guys along too I'll be inserting clips and all that good stuff like I'll do all that stuff um, but we leave for that tomorrow so yeah I better get reading um, second I'm just really like setting myself up for success so we're leaving tomorrow for Berlin I don't really necessarily want to take this by the way let's let's just admire this beauty here I don't really necessarily want to take this. I would like to have it read. That's not feasible at all, I don't think, but you never know. Um, and then, I, I'm setting myself up for good things. I am going to participate in a readathon in April. I haven't really like made my formal announcement or TBR or anything yet because I'm still working on all of that. But basically, the idea is to read seven books that fit into the prompts. I'd like to try and read nine. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that or not, but I'm planning on the seven plus book club books, plus all the library books that I just checked out. And I got a lot of them and I'm going to haul them here in a minute. Um, I'm going to do a little library haul. So some of these might be getting like renewed and extended <laughs> so that I make sure that I have time to read them because there's a lot today. Thursdays are story time days 
for the most part at the library for the kids so we usually take that as a time to pick out new books for the boys um, and then if I need to return any or if I'm ready to check out some more books or if one of my holds is available we'll go pick them up I don't do this every Thursday because to be completely honest a story time is not every Thursday um, and B I can't read as many books as I check out from the library and one week my kids can I cannot um, the joy of having responsibilities this is our library book bag and it says happy book day because that was appropriate um, most of these I just picked up at random I didn't really have like a a sense of purpose when I went in <laughs> wasn't actually intending on getting anything and I came out with five books that's why I should not be trusted in bookstores in libraries in anything I'm gonna combine my books and the books for my kids in, in one so you can see all of them. I hope you enjoyed that. If you don't, comment down below and let me know and I won't do that anymore. For my son, I picked up 10 Rubber Ducks by Eric Carl. We loved The Very Hungry Caterpillar. This is good for counting. No more. For myself, I picked up All Quiet on the Western Front. My husband will be very pleased that I'm finally picking this up and reading this. Um, this is the World War One. If you don't know what this is, where have you been? Um, I'm actually surprised that I have not read this yet, to be completely honest, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna finally read it. Um, I picked up for my kids. I picked up Animal Babies on the Farm. I, I was just trying to pull out books to entertain my children during story time. My younger one is not quite like story time ready, but the older one definitely is, so I'm usually like running back and forth. I picked up for myself, Annihilation by Jeff Vandermeer. This is like one of those random ones where I was watching a reading vlog um, before we went to story time and this was brought up. Like I have no idea what this is about. I think it's a science fiction. Um, yeah, I don't know. Here's something else that I don't know. I don't know if this is a plant like this this design here. I don't know if that's a plant. If it is, I can use it for the readathon. So there we go. Um, so that's fun. For myself, I also picked up The Return of the Soldier by Rebecca West. Picked this up purely for the readathon. Um, it's gonna be one of the wor first books I read. It's like 80 pages. It's um, another World War One um, author. This is an after World War One returning home, I think. And then... I picked up for myself, I picked up The Great Short Works of Edgar Allan Poe. Um, I have been meaning to read more of Edgar Allan Poe, so here we go. I might try and see if I can find this like on Amazon or at Barnes & Noble because I feel like this is one of those ones that I'm going to read every once in a while, like not read it all at once because these have poems, short stories, they're a little bit of everything, so I might see if I can find this online to buy. Um, with my April book order. That way I don't have to worry about keep like extending this and renewing it and all that good stuff. Um, for my kids, I picked up my big boy undies. Just saying that we're getting to be about that time um, where this is going to be applicable. I don't really want to get into any more of that because yeah. Also for the kids, I picked up just a baseball game. This is actually for my older son. He loves baseball. Um, and we're trying to instill that love and continue to make it grow. So why not combine baseball and reading into a book? I mean, what more could you ask? And then finally, yeah, finally the last book I picked up is Public Library and Other Stories by Allie Smith. This just, this just seemed like something that, that was right for me. Uh, to be completely honest, I have no idea, like, any more of that. I think it's a, it's a batch of short stories. Um, and I know Allie Smith writes some other things, too, that I'm quite interested in, so I'm curious to see if I like her writing. Um, so, yeah. That's my library haul. I am going to go take care of the kids and then, um... <coughs> Read. There we go. That's what I was looking for. I need to read. <laughs> I'll update you guys later.
mid car ride update for you because like I just told my husband I want to update you guys while this is like fresh in my head um so I just finished Once Upon a River by Diane Satterfield and I loved this book it I like I have so much that I want to say and absolutely like, nothing at all to say and it was incredible I gave it a five out of five stars I loved every minute of it um, it was so so good but there are just so many different things that you could like pull apart from the story so that was like all incredible we are heading to Berlin for the weekend we're all excited um, and yeah I not sure quite what I'm gonna pick up next. I have to read The Princess Bride for another book club that I'm in. So, and I've got that on my Kindle. So I think I might pick that up um, and just see if it captures my attention. I've seen the movie a lot, but I've never actually read the book. So here we go. Good morning, happy Saturday. We are, as I said yesterday, in Berlin. Um, yesterday we went to, you'll have seen this already, but I figure I need to do some chatting to you guys so you're not like confused and lost in sauce. So we went to Berlin Wall Memorial, which is where the border was and part of the wall, obviously. Um, so we went to there and then we went and got dinner at a barbecue place and we came back home and crashed, so I did not do any reading. So there's no reading update for you guys. Um, and then today we're about to go get breakfast and then we're gonna go ahead out and do some more touristy things. So take you guys along with us.
Hello, good evening. I apologize for the horrible lighting, but we're gonna make do with what we've got. Um, <laughs> it's It's been a minute, maybe a couple minutes of footage since you've seen my face. I figured I would come on here and debrief you on the past couple days. Oh gosh, I have a whole bunch of footage that you guys have already seen and I'm sorry that it's all choppy and some of it is like weirdly placed, but that's just kind of, I had to work with what we were getting. Um, so to start with, yesterday was Saturday and we went to Checkpoint Charlie, the Memorial to the Murder Jews of Europe, also known as the Holocaust Memorial, depending on how you wanna call it. Brandenburg Gate, the Reichstag Building, the Soviet War Memorial, and the Fernsen Term, which is also known as the TV Tower. We went up into the Fernsen Term Saturday, like afternoon, evening, um, and we didn't really like get to see much of it. It was raining yesterday. It was raining and chucking it down all afternoon and evening on Saturday. So we didn't really get to see much from it but that's okay we experienced it um and you'll have seen all of that today we um did the uh, east side gallery wall which i've included some footage of it was really hard to get footage of because it is so packed and you only have a little bit of sidewalk space and everybody is trying to get pictures and videos and all sorts of stuff so it didn't get as much footage there as i wanted but um, and then there's the river right next to it, which is so beautiful. Um, so we went to Eastside Gallery, the topography of terror, which is about the only World War II thing that you really find here that's not already in a separate museum. We went to the Berlin Victory Column. We went to the top of the Berlin Victory Column, which gave me a heart attack. There's only like a two second clip because I was terrified the entire time. I don't do heights, y'all. I do not do heights. And then we ended our day at the Berlin Cathedral. Because of that, we got to see the TV tower from the ground up again, and that's where that footage came from. So there's a little bit of split footage there. Um, we overall, tonight's our last night in Berlin. We're going home tomorrow. We had so much fun. We've been go, 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 go. It's been so much fun to do it and to see everything and we live a lot of history in this area um, and history that we don't, you don't hear a lot. I mean, you hear a lot about it, but when you think of Germany, you think of World War II. You don't really think of the Berlin Wall necessarily. So it was really cool to kind of see a different side of, Ber of Germany. Um, so that was really nifty. As far as reading goes, I have not done any reading this weekend like at all has it happened we've been getting home in the evening and have just been so tired um and worn out that i literally like i scroll social media for five minutes and fall asleep so i'm hoping to get some reading done tomorrow i'm kind of backing myself into a situation in that i have to read two books this week but it is what it is and it was worth it to come out here i feel like and it is good morning happy monday so i thought we were done in berlin but we're not done in berlin um we decided last night kind of late last night that we would take a little trip to one of the zoos over here this morning before we headed back home so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna insert all of the zoo stuff now like after i talk and then i'll cut to my ending that I filmed last night and that'll be the end of the reading vlog and I will start next week's reading vlog on tomorrow on Tuesday and it'll all work itself out somehow some way um yeah so that is the plan for this morning we're gonna go hit not the Berlin Zoo the we're gonna go to Tier Park um zoo which is um the I think it's the bigger of the two zoos. We decided to not to do the Berlin Zoo, um, mostly because it's in the heart of the Berlin, uh, in the heart of Berlin. Um, a, B, the weather has not really been cooperative the past few days, so it wasn't like we would be able to fit it in. And today is 
the first day that it's not supposed to rain so it'd be the first day that we can go to a zoo like comfortably and um we're also heading home today so we didn't really want to go back into berlin city city um so we decided to go to this other zoo it's still really big and pretty and i'm still looking forward to it it's still just as good um so yeah i'll take you guys along with us That is it for this week. I hope that you've enjoyed it and enjoyed our travels. It is a bit of a longer vlog, I'm sure, but I hope it was worth it. And thank you guys so much for watching.